Uh, today we're talking with Dr. Pamela Casson, a pediatrician and someone who just has a wonderful perspective on what that call really looks like. Thanks so much for being with us, Pamela. Uh, the first question I'd like to ask is, what does it mean for you as a physician, as a pediatrician, to be on call in culture? Well, that's an easy one because I'm a physician. <laughs> so being on call means that you have to be available with your form of service at any time of day or night, um, and particularly when it's not convenient. And so being on call in culture to me means that we're in God's service and I have to be on call to Him day or night even when it's not convenient. Now I'd love to hear the fields and spheres in which God has you on call in culture and share with us a little bit about what those look like. Well, I'm a pediatrician, number one, and so I have to service families and kids. Um, secondly, I think I'm a boss to Sunrise Pediatrics, so I'm a boss and a business owner. So I have to interact with people, um, contractors, my landlord, um, you know, everyone from the telephone company to CPAs and things like that. And then I'm a mom. I have three of my own children um, and a wife and I interact with a school and with sports teams too. So every time I'm watching a game, like my daughter playing soccer, I'm on call in that capacity too. Tell us a little bit about how you picked that field. Um, I think it was just a passion that God gave me. Well, and one of the reasons I loved or I wanted to become a doctor and go into medicine was just I'd like to make people whole. I mean, if I saw someone get hurt, I wanted to make them feel better. I wanted to fix anything broken. If someone was cut, I wanted to patch it up and clean them up. Um, I just love that, and so I just wanted to be part of that. How do you feel that your work has contributed and blessed the people in this community and the people that you serve on a daily basis? Well, I think when patients come in the office, just treating them with respect and dignity and, and loving them the way you would view Christ love the church is important. Everyone from the smallest child to the most honoring teenager to the delivery guy who comes in the office, um, to our landlord, um, just treating everybody with respect and with a value that you know, you know that Christ loved them enough to die on the cross for them and to give his whole, just everything to them. And if God valued them that much, then how much more should I value them, you know, and treating everybody that way. Uh, share with us some of the small ways that you see yourself as being on call in culture. Oh, one thing I keep very privately, and none of my patients know, I guess, until now, is um, little things like when I do a physical exam, when I'm listening to a child's heart, it's come to me that I pray for that child's heart. So as I'm listening to the heart, I usually say two prayers to myself, and one is that God would capture that kid's heart and help that heart to grow up to love him with everything in their being. So I pray for him when I'm listening to the heart. Um, the second thing I ask, of course, if God would show me if there's any abnormalities here, could I please hear it? But um, so I, I think I'm beginning, you know, that's a new thing I've started doing in the past year or so is to pray for kids' hearts as they come in. And so that's something that I don't think any of my patients know that I do, but I try to do it from you know, just the most honorary patient to the most friendliest patient to everyone across the board. Uh, how would you encourage young people who are just moving into their roles as doctors, pediatricians, medical professionals to be on call and culture in their spheres of influence? I think keeping your perspective straight, uh, remembering who you are in Christ, that every talent, every skill, all your intellectual abilities, anything you have um, came from Christ in the first place. It wasn't you who got you to become a doctor, it was Christ through His grace that allowed you to become a doctor. Um, and once you are a doctor, to keep in mind that everybody you come in contact with, everybody, no matter what value society places on them, is incredibly valuable to God, um, enough so that he would die on the cross. And if you keep that perspective, everyone, from the most disabled child who's wheelchair-bound and unable to communicate, uh, to the most rambunctious, outgoing child you have there, no matter who they are, you know, how to, you, you treat them just knowing that, that they're of value to God. Um, so just interacting with people with that perspective. And I think you just, it just follows in line after knowing that. Thank you so much, Pam, for doing this interview and talking with us. And we'd love for you to join the On Call and Culture community. Simply go to oncallandculture.com and you can find out about our Facebook community as well as our Twitter community. And you can also get the book Wisdom and Wonder. That's the foundation for all of this discussion that we're having. Thanks so much.